Now then, today I'm going to talk to you about the UK pool season. Yes, there is a pool season. Um, with England, particularly Yorkshire, being temperate, um, you need to wait for the sun to shine really to enjoy being outside and using your pool. It can run from April in a Easter uh, right up until autumn, October. Um, it tends to, I tend to run it around the, the kids' um, holidays. So from Easter up until the October half term, uh, if the, the weather's really good. However, uh, with the advent of being quite expensive to run a pool at the moment, I'm running it from the May bank holiday half term until they go back to school in September, because um, it is quite expensive to run a pool. Um, what would you need? For a basic up pool, which costs about 50 pounds with the inflatable ring at the top, um, you might need one of these. It's a simple 12 volt inflator which you can run off a, a battery or from your car or um, and because they're very mobile on those pools they're easy to pump up and then move into the place where you want it. Um, we're not going to go over that uh, today but really you just want it to be flat and have a space around it because the kids are running in and out of it. However what I found with one of these those inflatable pools is that uh, you use quite a lot of water because you'd set it up for a weekend on the proviso that you're going to have decent weather but uh, I found that you're using lots more water so if you imagine filling up that pool multiple times over the weekend and then you might leave it up for a few days but then the water starts to go green so you empty it and change the water uh, at that point what you might need to do is with the kids running in and out is uh, it gets loads of grass in it and things so you might need a basic filter pump so this is the small filter pump that you can get um, obviously it's run off of the mains again, I'm not going to go into that today but you want to make sure that you've got a waterproof power supply uh, particularly in the UK uh, uh, one of those outdoor plugs so if you're going to have one of them fitted obviously that's an expense to consider but you know, pretty standard stuff um, and then they use the, the filters I mean this one obviously wasn't cleaned but these are the small cartridge filters again, you can order these from eBay or uh, Amazon or you can go down to the local shops uh, I think the range do a good good stock of um, of these because they're used on in the inflatables. Um, so that's that. Uh, obviously, when you've got the pump, you need to think about chlorination. Now, um, one of the basic chlorinators is this. So this attaches onto the inlet uh, side. And you, you put your um, tabs in there, and that chlorinates it. But it's a little bit hit and miss as to whether it's actually properly chlorinated or not. Um, a lot of the time I found that, uh, yeah, it, it was either too much or the kids were complaining that it was it was bad. So it was actually quite difficult to get the balance right with the chlorine. Uh, obviously you've got the inlet strain and the outlet pump as well, but yeah. <laughs> and then as it's reasonably cold some days, uh, what can take the chill off, not necessarily heat the pool, is uh, one of these. So these are relatively cheap and straightforward. So in your basic setup, you'd be coming out of, uh, um, what's it called, part B. Uh, it goes into your pump, then your pump pumps through and goes into your um, heater. Um, and then obviously if you position it in a nice part of the garden like this that gets the sun all day around all day, all day every day so um, it actually takes the chill off one of those small pumps small pools um, should you move on to a bigger pool you need lots more of these so uh, I mean I can give the exact calculations but you're looking at maybe a hundred pounds all told on top of things and then plus running the pump so the pump is rated at 16 watts. So 16 watts will use, you know, multiply that by 24, and that'll give you the cost to run the pump. Um, it's not very expensive. You're not even using one unit. Um, currently, my my electricity units with Octopus are 32 pence. So for every unit of electricity, it's 32p. So that'll probably cost about 32p to run through the day. Um, so ongoing costs, obviously you've got your chemicals as well. So that, in a nutshell, uh, is a basic setup. 
Now then, so you've decided to invest in a basic setup. You've got your easy up pool, it's all set up, the sun's shining, and you've filled it up and you've got it in a nice flat area. Um, and then you bought it last year and you think, oh, all right, I need to de-winterize uh, the bits and pieces. So you get your pipes out, and then you have a look at it, it's got a split in it. Now, what you've got to do with the pipes is make sure that they're you know, they're all flexible and they're not brittle or anything and they're not going to leak so that's a simple check if you're dewinterizing your pipes just to make sure that they're all flexible and, you know stuff like that the second thing to look at is actually the seals on the, on the pumps so this seal's pretty good whereas this seal isn't it's uh, it's all gone it's perished it's and for the sake of you know a few pence which they can um, again best way pretty good um, when it comes to spare parts and then obviously it's worth buying new filters um, for the season uh, whether you just buy one or two or, or three or whatever but you can also use the older ones should you need to uh, with with cartridge cleaner uh, that's what I prefer to do but I generally buy a new cartridge every season um, and the oldest one I tend to you know swap out so you know they've been used for what three four years now I have my big cartridges so yeah on the dewinterization check the seals and check the pipes okay now then today I'm going to talk about um, an intermediate setup and dewinterizing it so I've got my bits and pieces out for my intermediate setup uh, I've already covered the uh, solar panel so I've got a couple of solar panels that I've set up on top of uh, so I've got the pool set up I've got it all nice and leveled out and, and things and it's, it's currently um, filling up uh, so it'll be ready later today uh, to enjoy so what do you need for an intermediate setup well you, first of all you need a bigger pump so this is the larger of the two uh, cartridge filter pumps uh, I found it it's great now as you can see this has perished so yeah and on the other side that has also perished so we need some um, need some seals before we before we connect that up so I'll take them off and I'll snap them so therefore I can't walk the tempted to use them All right so that's the pump sorted um, obviously I've got some new cartridges to be doing that I've got cartridge cleaner, I've got all that set up uh, I've already done loads of videos on that uh, last season uh, so the second thing to consider is maybe having a, a chlorinator so this allows you to control the flow of the, the, chlorine, the chlorine um, thus it helps you to maintain the balance of chlorine a lot easier um, you just, you know, obviously lots of people have done lots of things on that Again, it's about checking the uh, checking the seals. And they're all good. Yeah. Um, obviously, don't leave it. I mean, I've actually put this on before I started filming, but don't leave it with the lid on. Leave it with the lid off when you winterize it. And again, check the seal, which it's not perished or anything. I can see, you know, it's good. Um, yeah. So don't leave it. Winterize it like this. Leave it winterized with the lid off. <coughs> Then, with it being the UK, um, it's quite difficult. <laughs> difficult. It can be quite chilly some days, so you don't necessarily want the pool to be heated. If you want in that, then it's going to cost you a lot of money. Um, but what I've got, so I've got the the flow clear basic heater. Now, what that does is it heats it or tries to heat it to 30 degrees C. Uh, it's currently rated at 800 watts. So uh, with the pump and the heater together we're looking at 20 kilowatts of or, or 20 units of power to run for 24 hours so that works out to be six pounds 40 which is actually just slightly less than a pint of this so if i don't drink i can enjoy my pool yeah right anyway that's the basics for an intermediate setup basics for an intermediate setup that's an oxymoron Anyway, so again, I'll check the uh, the the, the valves and the seals on this, which I can see they're fine, um, and they've yet to connect it up and make sure the electrics fly. But that's all something to do whilst the pool's filling up. 
um, once the tool's full, um, it'll top engineer clean, and then you do the, the chlorine bomb or starting chlorine measures to start up. Again, lots of other people have covered that. I don't need to cover that today. But uh, yeah, time to enjoy the sunshine and enjoy a bit of splashing around. Now then. And then the final thing to do is to uh, enjoy your pool. So make sure you've got decent inflatables. Alright, see ya.